Tonight on Chronicle, if this is your kid's mantra, um, studying, what's that? They've got to meet this kid. Tips from a teen who wrote the book on homework. I wrote it as though I was talking to a friend of mine, as though I was telling people about it. So it's funny, I had a friend read it, and as she's going through it, she's like, Siobhan, I hear your voice in my head because it's like you're talking. Kids, well, they eventually turn into teenagers, and with those years comes... Cars, dating, mood swings, no, dating... Ho no, homework. And that can really be a struggle for lots of kids and for their parents. Well, a Manchester teen did some homework of her own and found out there are a lot of students out there who just don't know how to study or take tests. Uh, and so she wrote a book for her peers filled with tricks and techniques that make studying less of a struggle. And she titled the book... Uh, studying? What's that? A lot of people in college, or in high school actually, more in high school, people in the higher level classes don't know how to study, or they don't study at all. They think, oh, I'll review it the night before, you know, I'll read, I'll just stare at the paper, and yeah, that'll be good enough. When you get to college and when you get into the higher level high school classes, a lot of times that does not work, um, especially in college, it does not work. So I came up with it because they don't know how to study, so they're like, um, studying? What's that? Mm, studying? What's that book? <laughs> My daughter and I wrote it because I have been working with um, groups of people for several years now, mostly teachers, and teaching them teaching strategies. And I had a parenting book, a book for um, kids, parents to be able to help their kids with homework. Constantly, I had people come up to me at the end of my seminar and say, I need a book like this for my teenage daughter. I need a book like this for my, my teenage son. I need a book for my kid in college. She had straight A's, and all of a sudden this year, she's having the toughest year. But the book I had was geared towards parents and young children. So I approached my daughter and I said, we need a book like this for teenagers. And I'd like it to be written by a teen, not by me. I don't understand teen lingo. I don't understand where teenagers are at enough to write a book for them. I wrote it as though I was talking to a friend of mine, as though I was telling people about it. So it's funny, I had a friend read it. And as she's going through it, she's like, Siobhan, I hear your voice in my head because it's like you're talking. So I just, I wrote it as if I was speaking, and I threw in personal stories and my own experience. That's a big part, actually. I threw in my own experience with the examples because people are more likely, or teenagers are more likely to trust that these will work if you can say, I've done this, and I know that it works, or my brother has done this, and I've seen it work. So that's that was kind of where I came from, my own personal stories, and as, as if I was just talking. Do you help? My role was I had the um, original parenting book, and then I gave it to her, and she went with it. I made suggestions um, at times just to say, okay, can you, if I was a kid reading this, you know, I was a teenager reading this, would you word it this way? And after she got the, the hang of that, she just went with it. She really took it over. So I did the core, the original, and she made it a teenager book and gave, she did all the examples at the, at the high school and college level, she redid pictures, she rewrote re the, the verbiage, she, she did all that. It has, it's form, formatted in the sense that it's in the beginning, it talks about your learning style. So you're looking at learning style first, and then what you're doing after that is you're looking at, well, if this is your learning style, what might be the best way for you to learn? And so it starts with figuring that out. What's your learning style? And then it gets into what are strategies? How do you study vocabulary words? How do you study question and answer cards? How do you study when you've got this you know, huge amount of information for a social studies class or a, a chem class to cover? And it goes through all different kinds of activities and games to be able to do that.
We'll start with color, because that's probably the biggest one I always stress. If you can't do anything else, use color. Um, when you look at a black and white sheet of paper, do you, does anything really stand out to you? I mean, nothing really. You just read it and you're like, do I really remember everything that I just read? Not really. So with color, your brain sees the different colors as you're looking down the page or as you're looking at the mind map or whatever, which I'll also get to. Um, and it sees the differentiation, and it's more likely to remember just because it's like, oh, there was orange here and blue here. And one of my map is, is you put like the big, um, big ideas, like this is social relations, and then you branch out to, you know, prejudice, and these are all the things, the psychological ideas and the stuff about prejudice. And here there's the in-group, out-group theories and how these all relate, and it just kind of, it flows better, and you're more likely to remember it because it's all grouped together, and it's not in a linear pattern. So you, when you think about it on a test, you're like, all right, over here was prejudice, and what was around prejudice? And that was, that was the schema, and like that's how you'll see it in your mind, and it helps you remember. And so there are things that do work and don't work for everyone, and I actually address that in the book. That, and I just say, you know, it may not work for you, but try it. And if it, if it works, excellent. If it doesn't, move on. Try something different. I actually had the girl who read the book this past, after these, fin these last finals, she, um, she was like, do you want to see my notebook? I used color, and I used all these mnemonics, and she wanted to show me everything. And then I had another friend who was helping out, and she passed me in the hallway, and she was like, you know what? All that color really helped. And all those things you told me to do, they really helped. And I drew mind maps and this, that, and the other thing. And they, they were really excited about it. They wanted to show me all the stuff that they had done. And it was, it was exciting. It's really exciting. Like, it feels really good because not only, not only am I glad that it's working, I'm glad that I was able to help them and that they're, they're learning. They're learning better and they're growing in that way.